morning, Ismail. Good morning, Lynette. How are you doing? I'm very fine, thank you. Bonjour, Ismail. Bonjour, good Monsieur morning, Ismail. Ismail. Merci, Ismail. Merci, Ismail. Merci, comment ça va? Très bien. Et vous? Good. I'm good. I'm doing well. Voilà, qu'est-ce que vous avez pour nous dans What le What do you have for us today? We have a package from Ghana. In November last year, on this segment, we talked about some polytechnic students in Ghana's second largest city of Kumasi who technologically altered car engines to run on electricity. In June, we broke the story about a Ghanaian university's launch of the country's first satellite into space. The technological achievements didn't end there. Last week, the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology in Kumasi unveiled a solar-powered electric 4x4 pickup vehicle known as ACAR. It was inaugurated by its chancellor and the king of the Ashanti Kingdom, Otunfo Oset II, who gave the environmentally friendly automobile a test drive during the university's congregation. It was jointly developed by the university's departments of mechanical engineering and physics in partnership with the Technical University of Munich in Germany. According to the Vice Chancellor, Professor Kwesi Obri Danso, the prototype was developed as part of a project to explore the mobility needs of the country. He said the ACA is a response to local needs using affordable, environmentally friendly, and locally available materials. The vehicle is being tested tested and fine-tuned to bring it up to standard. Other dignitaries at the university's congregation were taken through the system of the vehicle that combines electric power and solar energy. The Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology has other inventions, including an open space fire detector, a solar-powered traffic light, and drones to support the nation's development process. Still on Ghana, the country and South Africa have announced a successful conversion of a communications antenna into a functioning radio telescope linking the two countries. The conversion of Ghana's redundant 32-meter telecommunications antenna at the Ghana Satellite F station at Kutunse into an astronomical radio telescope makes the country the first in Africa among nine others to do so. The upgrade project started in 2011 in collaboration with South Africa to create the African Astronomical Radio Network as an extension of the global network. The new Astronomical Radio Telescope has already made some important observations. This is the first phase of the project. The second phase will be the integration of the network to the African network and then across the continent. A seven-member Ghanaian team has undergone training in South Africa and has been trained in all aspects of the project, including the operation of the telescope. Now to Ethiopia, which uh, is following the likes of South Africa and Ghana to launch its first satellite into space for research and development purposes. The Horn of Africa country is in the process of building the satellite, which is expected to be launched into orbit in 2019. This was disclosed last week to the Prime Minister, Hail Mariam Dezalen, in a meeting with the Ethiopian Science, Space Science and Technology Council. The satellite weighs 65 kilograms and is being built by Ethiopian engineers with the support of the Chinese government. Science and Technology Minister Getahun Mekuria said the satellite, which will go as high as 700 kilometers into orbit, will be used for weather forecasts among other purposes. Ethiopia has openly declared its aim of becoming a space science hub in Africa. While Ethiopia is striving to be the best in space technology, South Africa has surpassed all African countries as the best tech hub. Its city, Cape Town, has been ranked among other developed cities as the 22nd best location for the tech industry. The 2017 Tech Cities Report, released by real estate firm Savills says Cape Town, besides its popular tourist destination, is one of the hottest tech environments. Known as a digital gateway to Africa, the Western Cape is home to four top universities and some 59% of South Africa's startups. Among the categories that place Cape Town at this pinnacle in Africa includes its business environment, tech environment, city buzz and wellness, talent pool, and finally, property costs. The world's number one tech city is Austin in the United States, followed by San Francisco, New York City, Toronto, Amsterdam, Copenhagen, Boston, Berlin, and Singapore, among others, with Cape Town being the only African and the last city in the ranking. My name is Ismail Akwe. This is SciTech. Thank you.